Hey puzzlers, this is Steve here with another video on how to solve some logic puzzles. This one's known as a Kojun. How it works is you're going to be filling in digits in each region such that that region has the digits 1 through n, n being the size of the region. So if you have a two-celled region, you're going to have digits 1 and 2 in there. Now the other rule states that you cannot have uh, orthogonally adjacent numbers being the same. So if cells are right next to each other, in different regions they cannot be the same digit and then lastly if you have cells within the same region that are vertical the largest number has to be on top so for example we have a two cell region here we know the digits must be one and two two has to be above the one and that's it for the rules what i'm going to go ahead and do is try to solve this puzzle for you guys and share some common tips and tricks along the way that will hopefully make it easier for you to solve this type of puzzle yourself in the future now I did pull this particular puzzle from a recently published book of mine on Amazon. I'll post a link in the description below. would love it if you guys would check it out. But without further ado, let's get started. So here we have a three cell region. We're just missing the digit three, easy enough. And then I've noticed these single celled regions we know all must contain the digit one. And yeah, usually the smaller regions are gonna be the easiest ones to start at. So here we have a two cell region, we're missing the one, it must go there. The two cell region below it can't have the one here because it'd be adjacent to these ones. So this must be the one, that must be the two. Here we have a two cell region, the larger number has to be on top, so we can fill in the two and the one that way. Same with these over here, the two and then the one that way. And these two over here, so two and then one. So this is an easier puzzle, but just wanted to illustrate uh, how it works. It's going to get a little bit tougher, but we'll continue to do the easy stuff first, um, as those clues will hopefully lead us to answers to the harder clues down the road. Here, two cell region, the one cannot be next to the, the one in the other region, so this must be the one, and that's the two. A three cell region that's missing the digits one and two, we know the two must be on top. The one below for two reasons one you can't have the twos adjacent to one another in other regions and two is the larger digit I noticed this is a five cell region we're missing the digits five and three we're gonna have to have the larger number on top the smaller number on bottom this region below here this funky looking region is missing a three but we know the three can't go here because we just placed the three above it can't have adjacent cells crossing a border be the same. So this is the three there, and now we need a seven because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven goes there. Um, where to now? Well, if we look at this region, we're missing a one. We know the one can't go on the top, and we know the one cannot go here in the middle either. The one has to go along the bottom. We already have one digit here, so the one goes there. And with this being a six-celled region, there's only one number larger than a five, it's a six. So the digit above it must be the six. And now we're missing a three and a four. We know the larger number goes on top, smaller number on bottom. We can apply the same principle here um, and see if it will work. So we know one's going to go down here. We know five can't go down here but a five could go oh you know what the five can't go here because of this five above it so that means the five has to go there so this cell can be a four two or one four can't go here um let's come back to that i'm sure i'm sure we'll be able to figure that out later but uh this five cell region's missing a one obviously the one can't go in the middle for two reasons. One, it's lar it's smaller than a two and it's adjacent to this one here. So we know the one goes there. The last digit missing is a three. We can place the three there. And this is a three celled region. We know the one can't go on the top position and a two can't go there because there's a two above it. So since a one and a two can't go there, that leaves just a three. Two can't go here because there's a two just to the right of it. So that's a two and that's the one. If we think about this region, we are missing, uh, well, the one can't go in either of those and the one can't go here because of this one above it. So that forces a one there. 
two can't go here because of the two below it, and the two can't go here because it's such a small number. Um, we're, you know, there's no number smaller than two other than one, and we already have the one there. So we wouldn't be able to sandwich a number between it. So since the two can't go here or here, also because there's a two above it. Uh, so I guess that would have been the easier line of logic. But a two goes there. And now we're missing just a three and a four. Three can't go here because there's a three next to it. So the three goes here, placing the four there. Um, where would I look now? So this uh, region is missing a two and a six. Well, the six can't go here because that's bigger than the three and the five. So the six is going to have to go here, making this the two. And let's look at this region. It's pretty tall. We're missing um, how many cells is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, well, obviously the seven can't go here or here. So the seven is going to go up here in one of those two since it's such a big number. Um, the one is going to go here because... It can't go here or here, it's such a small number, and it can't go here because of the one that's next to it. Those are adjacent numbers across the border, so this is the one there. Now we have just these blanks that are all vertical, so they go in ascending order. So two, three, seven, just like that. So hopefully that makes sense for you guys. Um, See if we can figure this out now. So we know the two can't go here now because of this two next to it, and the two can't go here because that's larger than the three. So that forces the two here. Now the one is forced to this one, and we're missing a four, which goes there. So this is a five-celled region. Obviously, the five is going to go in one of those two. Um, where is the two going to go? Because this two blocks those. This two blocks that one. So the two can't go above here because there's no two small, there's no two digits smaller. The two has to go here. There's only one digit smaller, meaning the one, so that has to go there. Three digits left, all in ascending order. So that's three, four, five, just like that. And we're getting close to finishing here. So the the, this region here is missing a 3, and the 3 can't go here because of this 3, and the 3 can't go here because that's bigger than the 2, which is above it, so that forces the 3 there. 4 can't go here because that's bigger than a 2, so that forces a 4 there, and the 1 there. And now, uh, where does a 1 go in this region? Well, it can't go here or here. I suppose it could go there, and it can't go here because of the, it's larger than a 2. So a 1 can't go here because of the 1 above it, can't go here because of the 1 below it, can't go here because it's larger than a 2 and it's above it, so that's a 1 there. And now we're missing uh, a 3, 6, and 7. Well, the 3 can't go here because of that 3. And the 3 can't go here because there's no digit smaller than that because we've already used the 1 and the 2. So the 3 can't go in either of these, forcing the 3 there. And now that's the 6, that's the 7. And now we're down to our last region here. We know the 1s can't go on the top. 1 can't go here because of the 1 below it. And 1 can't go here because that's in the middle of the sequence. So we know the 1 goes down there. And this is a 7-cell, uh, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, 7. So all these above the... The 4 has to be sequential, right? Because they all have to be larger than the, the 4. So that's 5, 6, 7. And then we have uh, all that's left is a 2 and a 3. 3 is larger, so it has to go on top. Uh, the 2 below, because it's smaller. And there you go. So that is a Kojun. Uh, lots of fun. Uh, it's definitely one of the easier ones in the book. This was just an example. It can be a little bit harder. But, um, but yeah, pro probably... Again, one of the easier types of puzzles out there. Definitely not a brain buster, but uh, still fun. Uh, still gets your workout in. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks, everyone.
Have a good night.